Behind me are some of the most historic and important textiles in the Royal Collection, and these are two of the most significant pieces worn by the sovereign during the investiture, with which the sovereign is invested. And so the first one is the super tunica, and that takes the form of an open uh, garment with sleeves, uh, which is also known as the pall of cloth of gold. It is woven from cloth of gold and embroidered with gold work embroidery to a design which has a strong tradition. And in terms of its history, it's based on ecclesiastical garments, um, and so it has a symbolic meaning from uh, ancient tradition of the organization of coronations. Um, over this is worn the final piece of investiture clothing, and that is the imperial mantle. Uh, this one was made for King George IV in 1821 and was worn at the coronations of King George V, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II and will be reworn again on the day of the coronation. But His Majesty the King has decided to reuse pieces from the coronation of his grandfather, King George VI, in 1937. And these include the coronation gauntlet, which is again uh, placed on the king's right hand during the investiture, just before he is presented with the sovereign scepter, and also the sword belt, otherwise known as the girdle, and that is placed around the super tunica during the investiture and to it is fastened the jeweled sword of offering. Um, and so it has both a practical and a symbolic function in the coronation ceremony.